I love the diversity in the work that I do. I love that I can travel with my job. I can do it anywhere in the world. I can move into different areas, different industries. It's constantly changing, so I'm always challenged. And I love meeting new people, um, which this job allows me to do. There's so many different areas of security out there. You can be, you can start off as being a lawyer and move into security. You can start off in marketing and move into security. It is a very exciting area which enables you to do so many different things. And as I said, it enables you to travel. I've travelled um, to many different countries. I've worked in France, in London. I've worked in the Netherlands and Belgium, and it has really been a very exciting role for me. So I encourage anyone to go ahead and try it. When people ask me, okay, what cybersecurity is it all about? Antivirus and being a hacker, is that what you do? And I go, it's not always just about that. There's a lot more to security. We need more people that have technical skills, but also are able to speak to the business. There's a lot of perception that it's all about technical and it's all geeky and you have to wear a hoodie or you have to have your hair dyed and it's not very feminine. But there is a lot of aspects into insecurity, which is very interesting for a woman. You can, you, I really feel that I am actually making a difference and changing, um, changing and protecting people and businesses. I'm also the founder of the Australian Women in Security Network. So we're over 500 people, um, men and women across Australia, that are aiming to connect and collaborate and talk about trying to bring more women into security. So we have chapters in other different states. So we've got people in Brisbane, in Perth, in Adelaide, Canberra and in Melbourne. And we come together to try and bring women graduates and people that are in industry to try and bring the support network together to um, help people stay in the industry and also to bring more people in.